Uh, while you were detecting magic, you did detect additional magic coming from this object as well. And I guess I'll ritual identify that then. There appears to be a iron door right in front of it, and of course, off to the side, behind a small pile of the screaming dwarven statues, is a lever. Oh, I turned my sound way down. I didn't hear it. What's that? There we go. You didn't hear what? Uh, I just realized I might not have heard something anyone said. Oh, I said I would ritual identify. Ah, you're going to identify this thing. The source of the whatever I detected as magic. Okay. Uh, the thing right in front of you, you identify as an instant fortress. A dwarven magical creation. Oh, so this is the thing we're coming to gate. So we have to figure out how to... Deassemble. Well, here's the thing. Identify lets me know how to use it. And whether it requires attunement and how many charges it has. So, how do I use this? Uh, let me refresh myself on that. <laughs> do do. You have to kill yourself. And while you're doing that, if it is a magic item and some other magic object, you learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement to use and how many charges it has, if any. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm scrolling. It says here it requires one TPK to fully function. Well, I can do that. Y'all are weakened by that last fight. I didn't get it once. The ritual fine. will be completed. Well, it says here that I make some sort of alchemical symbol on the floor and sacrifice everybody inside of it. Here we go. Let's see. Reading, reading, reading. Uh, the magical object itself is a small one-inch metal cube that, when you speak a command word, expands into this fortress. And as another command word will dismantle itself back into the one-inch cube. Jeez. There's simply not a whole lot else to it. Uh, there are a number of properties to it, but they might not be too important. Does the thing say... There's a small door facing you, of course. Uh, it opens only at the command of the person who uh, summoned it. It's immune to the knock spell. And uh, things such as chime of opening. Oh, you it's already said the... And it does not ever repair. You already said the most important part, which is that it only acknowledges the word of the person that summoned it. So my hopes of just crushing it back down again already dashed. The door does. Oh, the object But then. you do notice that there is a connection between the lever and the door. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to the door, and I'm gonna knock on it. Wait, does the item require attunement? No. So I could just say the command word, and it would shrink back down. Correct. Well, I mean... Does identify. identify give you command words? And you learn its properties and how to use them. Alright. You know that to activate it, it is protect me, and to deactivate it, it is we are moving on. Okay, I'm gonna walk up, put my hand on the door, and say we are moving on. I'm gonna look Wait. at Quincy while I say Bear we are me. moving on. Uh, you might have just crushed something in there. <laughs> yeah, I call it my enemies. By the way, this would be an amazing trick, by the way. Come on, come back to our place. We'll discuss the terms of our surrender. You go in. Okay. We are moving on. Hold on. I <laughs> That's to... assuming it does crush everything in it. It doesn't, like, push them out. Yeah, but at the same time, you could just position the door uh -oh. over something. Just, just so that oh, you, boy. um... No. Uh, each creature in the area the fortress appears in takes damage. Uh, in either case, creatures are pushed out, objects in the area are unworn. It doesn't say anything for when it packs up. But in this case, it folds up, drops to the ground. It's like being in the front seat of a Transformer. <clears throat> Absolutely. And <laughs> you see in front of it 
a two glowing green eyes attached to what looks like a stone bowl. Each plate of its terrifying scales seems to move and writhe with a bit of life of its own, and from its nostrils flare green gas. It looks at you, and it uh, lets out a terrifying bovine howl, and it begins to charge immediately. We're going to do initiative, guys. How long has it been since the last combat? Probably five minutes. Okay. So I still have mage armor, at least. So that's eight hours. Hey, actual good initiative. Hey. How long is mirror image? One minute. Damn it, don't have that Underground anymore. terror, initiative, eight billion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, this is where he wanted the TPK, so this is where he's going to roll 5d30. 40,000. It's oh, over no. 399,000. Sorry, right, we've all oh, rolled no. way better than it did. I'm assuming it has some sort of out the gate attack. Fireball. I mean, that. that denotes that. Well, to be it... fair, having it disassemble is a little bit surprising to everyone involved. Well, not to me. I'm wondering if it's gonna activate these statues. No, or... I think it's the one that created the statues. Yeah, so that probably goes probably. down to saying, you know, don't get fucked. It's like a basilisk or something. So, yeah, my turn first. Ah, uh, yep, sure is. Back to mirror image. Alright. That's all my second level spells gone. Nice. Oh, oh and the uh, the bird is going to fly in, fly by attack. Give me, uh, give the next person to attack an advantage. All oh, right, sounds real good. Heskin, you're the next person up. I'm surprised he's going first. I know. Oh, uh, let's see. Mm. All right, I was going to see if Suggestion would work on a creature like this, but I don't know if it will, so... To be safe, I think I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hex on whatever this creature is. Okay. So, here's that. Yep, deal the additional 1d6 damage. Always fantastic. That's also <clears throat> cast at second level because all my spells have to be cast at second level. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Third level at level five, isn't it? Yeah, no, maybe you're right. Sorry, I was reading the wrong. <laughs> I thought I was reading the right thing. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, so it's hexed, and now I'm gonna also, as my action, cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. A 16 will not connect on it, as it will simply reflect off of its plates. The plate drops off of its body and a new one grows in its place. Then uh, I'll help him. Alright guys, if we attack this thing enough, we'll get enough shillings we can make the roof of a house. Or armor. <laughs> uh, that's all your uh, turn, right Heskin? Oh, absolutely. Then you get another blast. Quincy. Oh yeah, you're right, I do get an additional blast. Uh... I keep forgetting I, that one. I move here. Give, let let Heskin do his roll first. Okay. It <laughs> it's okay, keep going. <laughs> if I move here, can I still back off, or do I have to take uh, impeding? Uh, I mean, you don't lose the ability to back off from anything here, do you? No, I mean, I don't lose it. No, I don't. As long as I make an attack against it, I can always back off. I'm okay. just asking if this little tiny area that has a little bit of rubble in it, is rough terrain. Um, I'm going to say that bad. square in particular is not. Okay. But you can always go to the very clear area, and that would clear up anything. Also, I don't want to interrupt, but Hex also allows me to give him a disadvantage on one kind of ability check, so I'm going to give him a disadvantage on strength checks. Alright, so okay. I'll move here. That'll uh, be important when someone tries to shove it over. I'm going Indeed. To... Like, a, like a half orc or something? With a shield bash. Now I'm going to take my two attacks, so 21 and 
15? Uh, the 21 will connect. Um, didn't Heskin... No. Wait, did advantage on the, the first one, and that went to the Eldritch Blast. Yeah, yeah did you so roll a second good. Eldritch Blast to see if oh, you may have crit or that's anything? That's what I was trying to say, was I thought Eldritch Blast would have gotten us. Yeah, good point. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I was... one will actually hit. I was editing overlay, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alright, well, take two points of damage. Alright, one of the shillings, uh, cracks slightly. Oh, no, I wish I missed. I D6. want the shillings for my house. There's a D6 hex. because You're it's absolutely hex. right. Wait, is he dropping money? Is it? He's dropping shillings. Shillings are money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Four necrotic damage. To drop uh, precious gemstones and pieces of gold off of its body. Wow, it's worth a lot of money. I mean, I don't know where he got British shillings from, but I mean, he's dropping uh, them. I I clearly meant a different thing, and I'm a terrible person. It's the Go ancient Warner. dwarven currency. You mean okay. shingles? Right, Is that let what me, you're going for? Let me, let me take... Continue your attack, Quincy. Yeah. So that's 6 plus 9, 15. Then I'm going to back the fuck up. All right. He's a big bad woman, but back the fuck up. You tear off a number of scales with your attack, and they do not come back. Does that mean he has a weak point? No. But okay. you do see, like, the moving green flesh underneath. Ah, stabbing holes! <laughs> and for the, the... Yeah, he's the, going to run up to it. And he's going to try to knock it over. Go for it. It's he even has disadvantage. Come on, one. I don't even yes. need to roll the second one. <laughs> oh, that's great. You beat the huge monster down to the ground. And I'm going to use my action surge so I get four attacks against this thing. It doesn't bandage. work that way. Your action surge... Only gives you one additional action. Wait, no, actually you would get four, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't yeah, think okay. extra attack procs does. No, well, it's no, because his point. extra attack... It's a part of the extra attack action that gives him the bonus attack. So it's, it's not considered a bonus action. Okay, yeah, cool. Just... Yeah, four attacks, then go for it. Yeah, it's a full act. It's crazy. Oh. I've made this mistake before in public, so... Uh, the 27 and the 23 hits. I am disappointed, but still... 22 yeah. damage total. 22 damage. And that's my turn. Right. Minus 22. Yeah, I think it's something like whenever you make an attack, you may make an extra attack. It's not listed as a bonus action, so... So if he made a bonus and action attack, it would not be extra attackable. Yeah, uh, see? As its first action, uh, it will spend some movement to stand up again. And then it will follow it up by... Uh, Snorting out a cloud of green noxious gas. It goes out to 30 feet. And it is a cone. I believe that should get everyone except Quincy. All of you need to make DC 13 constitution saving throws. Yeah, it's not specifically targeting me, so the mirror image doesn't take effect. I just got a 12. <clears throat> I am going to tap Tides of Chaos. Good. Thankfully, I've also got proficiency in constitution saving throws. I didn't even need to tap Tides of Chaos. Alright, and have your all make one too. Oh no, not over. Can he pass on that yeah. to the owl? It's all over, over. <laughs> it's all ogre. Wow. <laughs> well, he's dead. Uh, it is now restrained. The creature's speed becomes zero. It cannot benefit from any bonus from speeds. Attack rolls have advantage against it. Uh, its attack rolls have disadvantage, and it has disadvantage on dexterity. A, it can't attack. B, it's got one hit point, so congrats on that win. What yep. is the DC? 
13. So Rockrum failed as well. I only got a 12. No, you... Oh, let me see. He, well, he rolled oh, with advantage he, oh, for some reason. Oh, he had advantage, so it highlighted 18. Yeah, that's big. I didn't have advantage. I just uh, uh, there we go. Okay, forgot okay. to toggle it back to normal. Forgot to toggle it well, back off. All right. Well, you are also restrained. Then you are at speed of zero. Attacks against you have advantage. You have disadvantage to attack. Yeah, but you're standing As next parts to of you and the owl begin to solidify and calcify. Oh boy. I believe that is actually an action on its part. I call the half-orc statue if he doesn't make it. <laughs> I call his flesh. Actually, I want to double-check that just to be certain. Because I don't trust this uh, SRD. For about what? About leaving out information. Okay, yeah, that's just an action, then. Is that considered a spell? Because I did identify it as a spell. Uh, this is what you had identified earlier. This account is a spell. That's very important. Probably not. Probably not, or no? It's an ability it has to do. It is literally breathing out gas that has a magical property. I don't think it counts as a spell. I think it's just a magical creature that's shooting out a... Uh, okay. I, don't know. I tried. A biological effect. I have the spell. I have the spell Counterspell, so that's why it was... Oh, yeah. Counterspell would absolutely work. Okay. Um, phew, fuck, man. I got nothing to help you with. I'm actually under the assumption that it's multiple rounds of getting hit by that clown. I'm not a very good uh, area controller type. Um, I am going Yay. to move up to try and take some threat away from you since you've all gone weird. Firebolt it to the face. Ah, uh, that is definitely a hit. Five fire damage. Sorry, Ober. Gotta leave you back there. Yay, somebody got in my way again and now I can't get my stealth damage if I step all in there. Alright. A little bit of damage. I can still move, yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see. But I have to be in front of it now. That's everything for uh, Alexander, right? Yep. Eskin. Alright, I think I'm gonna make the uh, two Eldritch Blast attacks. Ah, uh, the 19 will connect. There we go. D6. And roll your additional d6. Yep. Like, Eldritch Blast gets really good because it just scales with more attacks. I mean, uh, all the cantrips scale, which is very nice. Yeah, so that's, that's 13. They're really yeah, nice. That was Already, uh... Silvery and obsidian scales begin to just drop onto it. Each one drops with the force of an iron plate. Quincy. Uh, so you're going to collect that so shit gonna, and make a plate suit out of it. I'm going to skirt so I, I can that. get over to the back. So I'll be right there. And I will double attack. 20, 24, double hit. Yep, both of them hit. So that's for 7, 14, <clears throat> and that will make it 20. Ooh. Pretty minimal damage. 20's not minimal. Well, it's not the best. It's about middle road for most of my attacks. Actually, every single attack it's, is It's, it's honestly road. above average. No, it's actually all middle road. Nothing's oh, above huh. the average. What do you know? All right, then. Well, still, you managed to stab it right up its butt. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Rugram. He's going to try and knock it down with his shield as well. Maybe try to negate the disadvantage. You could take defensive. 
Yeah, I could do that. Or you could just beat the shit out of it. Well, let's check. Do you have a disadvantage <laughs> on your athletics check, or...? Nope, just attack rolls. Does that not count as an attack roll? Does it? I thought it would, but I mean... I don't know, what what's the thing you're using? You've got you've got the thing on your Restrained sheet. Restrained is what he is right now. No, no, I mean, he's got the thing on his sheet. That... Uh, a shield bash thing. Yeah, it's just a shove action. This is just shoving. It's a versus, not an attack. I don't know. Anything can be considered an attack. I'm just wondering it's if the thing says attack. Again. Uh, that was a D2. Oh, was it? <laughs> no wonder it failed. <laughs> Still uh, it still fails, but not uh, hilariously. <laughs> D2. <laughs> Thanks for the advantage. <laughs> uh, but he does get shoved down, Rogram. You manage yeah. to negate the penalty you have to try to hit it. So I'm just going to make two normal attacks against it. The 20 will connect. <clears throat> For 9 damage. Good and job. I can't move, so I'm just standing still. That's right. Go ahead and make another saving throw. Constitution? Yes. 23. On a successful save, the effect ends on the target. Thank god. The calcification drops off the side of your body. Freeing you. Along You're with no large chunks shot. of your skin. How does your <laughs> constitution like actually resist that? I'm I'm uncertain like what's physically uh, happening. Uh, quite honestly, ask the creators of Dungeon Dragon that kind of question. You know, with our tokens right next to each other, we have a kind of a cool name going on. Rockroom Alexander. That's our new character. If we ever merge. <laughs> do the fusion do the dance. Fusion dance. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, it's the underground terror's turn. And seeing as how it uh, didn't turn you all to stone instantaneously, it's going to go ahead and try to just uh, gore you with its horns. And it's going to go ahead and choose uh, Wolfram, because it keeps embarrassing it. Rugram. Rugram. One D2. That was a person that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's delusional. Get it. We all sat here for another two hours waiting for this person. And to it impales you on its horn, and then oh, shakes you straight up. off. Are you, you still down? up? Yeah, I'm still up. What are you at? Eleven. Oh, that's good. Did you get a second second win yet? No. Okay. Uh, Alexander, it's your turn. But I still have my half orc ray shield as well. I will attempt to firebolt again. All right. 19 will connect. 12 damage. You can smell the oily green flesh underneath begin to burn. Oh, does my bird get another uh, saving throw? Yes, it does. I was just waiting to hear if you said anything. Wow. That's a zero. It got a That's one, a zero. and then it got um, a zero. On a failure, the target is petrified until freed by a greater restoration spell well, or other magic. I can send it back and resummon it. It's not a problem. It's a familiar. <laughs> you, you can technically you know. exchange it out, yes, but uh, you now have a rock instead of a bird. I have a pet rock. <laughs> now, the question is, did it turn into a rock in the air, and if so, is it uh, in danger of breaking? Upon Again, that cruel. it doesn't matter. I can just resummon him and he'll be fine. I That's assume been... since it can't move at all, it was just petrified on his shoulder, and then he put it on the ground. <laughs> you can extend... see green oily pus oozing out of every orifice. He's gonna go back to the the familiar store and like, I think my all oh, is broken. I, can I get a replacement? <laughs> Ah, so it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna... Well, what, wouldn't you know, as a warlock, I think I'm gonna use Eldritch Blast. Really? That's so weird. I know. You wouldn't expect it, but it's something I have to do. Do you not have, like, magic spell slots that can do damage? I have Fireball, but I didn't think you wanted to take damage so bad. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm also, have, like, you've only attack. got, like, what, two spells for short rest? Yeah, and I used one yeah, of them. Yeah, you got, like, short rest as a Warlock. It's an oh, interesting I mechanic, Warlocks. but... 
forgot warlocks have zero spells per day. They're like two. Anyway, I, uh, neither of those actually managed to break through the iron plates. Oops. The cantrips are really good, but they're... Quincy. Yeah, I'm just... You know what I'm doing. Yep. Stab it up the butt. Stabilize this man. 25 and 20... Another two hit, huh? Those are two successful stabilizes. Uh, six, four, and six. Yeah, that's... That's under. That's all under now. <clears throat> that's for 16. Uh, as you shove it into its backside and pry open another plate, more of the green oozing pus begins to, uh, pour out of it. It lets out another bovine howl as it collapses down to the ground. Yeah. And <laughs> it dissolves, the interior dissolves into a gooey paste, causing all the iron plates to crumple in on themselves, merely adding to the pile, leaving nothing behind but a sticky wet mess and a whole bunch of, uh, Precious metal. Oh, we're going to collect that precious metal, that's for sure. Ruffin and of course, the cube is on the ground, not too far away from it. Oh, uh, put uh, that in the treasure pile. Yeah. Let's see, who could defend it the best? <laughs> Probably Rugram. <laughs> yes, just... poor Rugram, who gets beaten up with every fight. The wharf of our group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. All right. I will go ahead and copy paste everything you find upon it and all of the uh, victims surrounding it. Actually, I'd recommend Alexander takes it because he has more escape spells. Yeah, I don't know if Brockham have anything important. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Brockham would like uh, one piece of plate armor. That is. 20, 100, 20, wait, hold on. Oh, no, I think you have to pick up the plates off the ground and carry oh, it back with you if you want mail. plate, yeah. That's 140 gold. I was confused by one, one slot. Well, 90 uh, platinum pieces is still a lot of gold. Oh, 250 yes. 50 gold. 250 gold point um, art is pretty good, too. Yeah, it's yeah. what? 1,250 gold pieces worth of art. Oh, does anybody have the ability? Can you identify potions? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you got three potions to identify. Alright, do that, then. You wanna do it over a long rest? Can we, can we long rest? I mean, I don't know how... Uh, do you do you want to retreat back to the settlement? Well, I mean, I... we could long rest now in case something happens to us along the way. Uh, here's well, the I'm more asking, do you want to do anything else, or do we want to go ahead and uh, lean towards the end of the adventure? here? This is basically the end. I, I'm Other than trying to get out of the dungeon and start heading back. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to force you to backtrack here. You cleared out everything. That's the entire point. Okay. Um, but right. you managed to get yourself a safe place, rest it up, and proceed to identify each of the potions in turn. Finding a potion of invulnerability Potion of diminution and a potion of mind reading. Immuation? Diminution, what is that? Makes you smaller. Makes you small. Actually? The first potion Alice encounters in Alice in Wonderland. Uh, how long does it last? Uh, as long as it says in the DMG here. Alright. For at least one book. What in book? <laughs> Should Rugroom have the invulnerability? Yeah, I, I was gonna give it to Rugroom anyway. I take whatever you guys want. All I can ask is my share of the gold. Um, I like the potion of mind rating or diminution because diminution allows me to do a lot of sneaky, like, kind of stealth boy stuff. You know, hiding around, looking like other people. I also have glamour armor, which allows me to change my appearance of my armor to any set of clothes I want. I just wear clothes. <laughs> what a loser. So weird. <laughs> Your clothes don't change? What is this tragic no. thing? No. Oh, <laughs> weirdly, one D four hours. Weirdly, I just change my clothes. <laughs> ah. One D four hours? That's pretty good. Which implies that I wash my clothes, unlike you. 
I do wash my clothes. Of course you do. But don't. they're also magical, so they kind of resist stains. <laughs> you just made that up. <laughs> I don't know. I cast identify as clothes. Nope, you just made that up. Get the hell out of here. Ah, you identify the clothes of stinking. Perpetually makes the user a slob. I, ah. I take good care of my armor. It's armor, by the way, not just simply clothes. But, uh, you all rest up. Identify the loot, uh... Somebody has been keeping track, right? I took the potion off and... Yeah, thing. I got it. I cut, put it down. And, uh, eventually I would presume that you would wish to head back at some point. And as you are leaving the fortress behind, not a single soul left alive, all the loot yours... Well, somebody has to still be alive. Panning out from the heroes, and showcase a small fire off way in the distance, three days marches away. Somebody has Something to be alive. Something terrible is beginning to happen. A we never found those goblins. Feel it on a chill wind. We never found those goblins that retreated, so somebody has to be alive somewhere. Someone Actually, has to be alive somewhere. The, but not there anymore. The goblins that retreated? You mean the one that technically died because of... No, the ones just, at the uh, very back of the long hallway that retreated down the hallway. We never encountered them oh, again. Yeah. Alright, and we'll go ahead and end the session here. Experience? Maybe? Uh, there is no experience because I will be handing out milestones when I feel... Was like this it. on milestone? No. We completed the adventure. Actually, we just did half the adventure, which is getting everything. The rest of the adventure is returning a lot. He literally this said... This the introduction. He literally said, completed the adventure <laughs> five seconds ago. <laughs> it's alright. Our, our reward was the tower we're, ta we're definitely keeping. The reward was in your hearts all along. That's wow. a shitty reward. All right, can I use that to summon Captain and Planet? Yes. <laughs> no, but you need five other people with the same reward. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four. Can his owl technically count? No. And also, I don't oh, have no, the reward. The owl is dead. My heart, her. my heart is filled with the uh, the petrified. emptiness. <laughs> my heart is filled with the emptiness, which you might recall was the enemy of the second uh, movie of uh, the Neverending Story. So. <laughs> We oh send gosh! The, technically, the owl's still alive. Betray you. So, if we send it back, does it die when it returns, or is it just a stone? Or does no, it, it lives home? in the ether, so it comes back new every time. It's not like a thing. Okay, it's, it's not more like, like a spirit, honestly. Yeah, in this it's like a fae. It's not like a warlock. Whereas, thing. like three point five, kind of defined it as you pick up a random woodland critter and slap magic into it. Yeah, basically, what he's saying is. If he beats his familiar at night, you won't ever know because he'll just bring it back and there's no bruises. <laughs> <laughs> um, Basically, does the 250 pieces uh, our 250 gold piece art count as the um, something that was in the fortress, or is it all the scales? Uh, they are individual things that were a part of the fortress, decorations even. No, I'm talking about the scales on the ground. Uh, the scales on the ground are part of the gold pile. Okay. All right. We're, we're simplifying it out. So we're just assuming once we get the town, we can exchange. Well, I mean, if the way. town's on fire, so. All right. Then. Real hard to exchange rate people that are on fire. <laughs> I think we go ahead and end the stream here. Thank you, everyone, for watching.